it's raining again and so I'm filming inside today because even though I'm very good at multitasking I cannot hold my camera in one hand hold an umbrella in the other hand and still manage to make a video so I want to talk to you about the 1st of May the 1st of May has been celebrated for many hundreds of years originally it was a pagan festival in which people celebrated the coming of spring and fertility and they would dance around multicolored maypoles and give flower baskets as gifts but today in 2020 it's international workers day or labor day but why the 1st of May? Well, it all started, interestingly enough, in Chicago in 1886. So remember that in the 1800s, people worked very long hours under very bad conditions. So the American trade unions decided that as from the 1st of May 1886, workers would only work eight hours a day, which would give them the balance of eight hours work, eight hours leisure and eight hours rest. But of course, big business and the capitalists did not like this one bit. And so there were protests. And on the 4th of May in Chicago at Haymarket Square, there was a peaceful protest by union activists. But unfortunately, at 10.30 p.m., a bomb went off. Nobody knows who threw the bomb, but of course the anarchists and the trade unionists were blamed. And seven policemen died and four activists were also killed in the explosion. And as a result, there was a sham trial, which was completely unjustified. And seven of the activists were found guilty and sentenced to death. Four were actually put to death um, and one committed suicide in his cell and the others were later pardoned. But, of course, this outraged workers worldwide when they heard about what had happened. And in 1889 in Paris, at the first Congress of the Second International, they decided that the 1st of May 1889 would be a day of movements and protests to remember those who had died in Chicago in 1886. And it was quite well supported across the globe. And it was formally recognized at the Second Congress of the Second International in 1891 as an official day to remember workers all over the world. But now, as you know, America have always had a problem with the communist threat. And in 1894, President Grover Cleveland decreed that Labor Day in America would be the first Monday in September. He purposely chose a date other than the 1st of May because he feared that commemorating the Haymarket Riot would galvanize support for the Communist Party and trade unions. And then, of course, in 1958, in the McCarthy era, in the middle of the Red Scare, President Eisenhower took this even further by signing a law which made the 1st of May Loyalty Day. Loyalty Day was a day in which Americans were invited to reaffirm their loyalty to the United States and its heritage of American freedom. And in the 1980s, President Reagan made the 1st of May Law Day, a day to celebrate the role of law in the foundation of the country. Anyway, that's a little bit of history and culture for you. In South Africa, we celebrate Workers' Day on the 1st of May. So I wish you all a very good Workers' Day. Don't do too much work today and I will see you tomorrow.